Hi guys, this is Mary. Um, I'm going to try to look at the camera as best I can, but um, I can't get it close enough to my screen, so um, bear with me. I also can't see anything. Well, blurry. <laughs> this is information about macular hole surgery. Um, a couple of things to look out for is oof, I gotta get that off of there. Um, number one is floaters. If you have floaters that persist or are really strange like um, a round hole in the middle of your vision like you've been staring at the sun too long if that little white blink you know light oh see little lights uh, go straight to your eye doctor do not wait go straight to your eye doctor because there are two things there's the retinal detachment and that could possibly be the floaters possibly it's not for sure but the little hole is called a macular hole and most of the time it's spontaneous it just goes poop and um, looks like let me get my first one out hopefully you'll be able to see it all right um, that's the eyeball where am I right here that is what it looks like from the doctor's view on the camera. This is the macula, which is supposed to look like that. Okay, or a variation thereof. So this is this is better. You're supposed to it's supposed to look like that. But if he sees something that looks like this, he's going to recommend you go to an ophthalmologist and they're going to do the same thing and he's going to look at that and probably recommend surgery because it's not going sometimes they get better on their own, but it takes years and years. And then sometimes it doesn't flatten out ever. So you have, for the rest of your life, if you don't get it taken care of, a black dot in the middle of your eye where your fine detail is. So let's say I'm looking at you, <laughs> and it's a dot in the middle of my eye. Now I can see peripherally most of the time, but the dot in the middle of the eye is not good. It's disorienting. It looks, sometimes it'll look like um, you've been in the sun too long, so you get the little eye spots, and then you blink and blink and blink and come inside, and, and if it's still there after a couple of hours, um, go see your eye doctor, and especially go to your eye doctor if you have been wearing sunglasses, and which is always recommended please wear sunglasses when you're outside or a hat something that protects your eyes from light um, now as I get older and I've had the hemi facial spasm on my right side it may have caused that uh, well I can't remember the word I'm on I'm on my medicine um, vitreous the vitreous fluid that's in the back of your eye um, gets old and it doesn't um, move like it should so you can get a spontaneous looks like a little caldera in your eye and it's extremely irritating and it takes a long time to heal now I had the right side I came in from the grocery store, I had forgotten my glasses and my sunglasses and I couldn't get the white 
little dots to go away. This eye it went away and this is the left eye and I thought oh well I've got a doctor's appointment to get new glasses <laughs> um, in three or four days. So I waited and it seemed to get worse. It was I got to the point where it was extremely annoying. Now remember I had problems with my eyes for years with this uh, semi hemi facial spasm just constantly spasming this eye so this eye had to take up all the slack for this eye just doing a strobe light thing the whole entire side of the face so anyway I had that done in let's see March April the surgery was actually done in June and we, by the time we finally got everything in, the doctor had a set schedule, and it did really well. Um, you have to do very specific things. Do not deviate from your post-op instructions. Do not. That's why I'm sitting upright, because theoretically it's face down, because they put a bubble in there. Hi, babe. I'm sorry I didn't get to the door for you. Okay. Um, it used to be you had to lay on this chair face down for months but now you don't it, you just have to simply lay on your side um, or your front <laughs> no side or upright and I always have a tendency to tilt my head forward because that's the way to keep it but this side healed very very nicely I didn't have a whole lot of swelling I did no, swell didn't. Is still healing. Now this is the ironic part. I got my three, about three to four month follow up, post op. That's where you. That's what you saw. There was the post op picture, the first one, and then this one. What they do is they put, they go in, put three little grommets. That's what I call them because they go through the white part of your eye with little instruments but it's a little tiny grommet that they can put their instruments in and they can see they've got a light in there it's so cool to see the video go see a video go to a doctor video don't go to I mean somebody else might have something but go to the doctor if you want to see the actual surgery because it's extremely fascinating they put three grommets in my eye and then used the instruments and they gently peeled the vitreous layer of what around the hole made sure there was no residual uh, vitreous to float around in there and then they they started putting in the bubble and sucking out your regular um, fluid. So for three or four, three months, I had a bubble in there and it acts like a bubble. Uh, it presses down on those little arms you saw and it holds it in place until it can heal. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but it healed kind of like this, which is okay. That's what he told me. There's a little scar tissue there. It healed very, very well. So this one, after three months, three to four months, he said, this is as good as it's going to get for a while. So if you, you need new glasses because the old ones aren't any good anymore because this whole thing has changed, you also have to have cataract surgery first. And so you've got cataract surgery, you've got macular hole surgery, and the whole vision center has changed. Uh, I may get a little bit of my fine detail back, which is great. The right eye does pretty good alone. <laughs> then I went at three months, I got my okay to get my glasses, and I went and ordered my glasses, my beautiful glasses, and I had them for about a week, and I needed to be adjusted, and I was seeing pretty good, but there was a couple of days before I went and got them adjusted, I noticed um, a yellow hole 
that's all it was, was a yellow hole in my left eye. And I said, oh dang, well I said something more than that, but oh dang, we'll have to do. Um, as you can see, <laughs> this is after surgery. So I had a little yellow hole this time, I didn't have a white hole. So after a day of a hole, and these aren't geared for, this one's okay. This is geared for the side I have now. I'll probably have to get a new lens in about a year, and we do that to each year until I can get um, a pair that I can see regularly with depth perceptions is a problem you've got to make you know be careful when you drink your tea that you actually make hit your lips um so i had a hole i had the yellow spot in my left eye and i went into the doctor and said i've got a spot and it's in the left eye and I, there's a 10, the doctor said there was a 10% chance that you might get a macular hole in the other eye. Well, I'm a 10 percenter. Um, you can see some swelling here. So they went in, they put in a cataract, that's the first surgery. And then, let me get... Okay, my surgery was... November the 1st, and um, we had to travel to do it. It wasn't far, but the, we don't do well in hotels. We're used to our own little home here. But I have a magnifying glass in every room. Um, so this was on the 1st, and then we stayed till the 2nd because they have a huge bandage, and I do mean bandage all the way to protect that eye. It's packed. And um, head down, um, you can side to side. And putting, try sleeping that way. I dare you. Uh, everybody said just put pillows in between you. Well, I just simply rolled like this. I didn't. Um, pillows didn't work for me. Blanket, a really stiff blanket down the bed like a board, that didn't work for me. So we got so we got to thinking and our local um, hospital supply store, I guess you'd call it. Is that what you call it? Um, said they used to make Hartman Brothers. Hartman, yeah, Hartman Brothers. Um, they used to, uh, or they, they used to make a pair of pajamas that had balls down the back. So when you rolled on your back, it's very uncomfortable. And so we, I thought, you know, uh, I'm not going to put tennis balls. That's really, really hard. I'm going to have a hard time anyway. So it's summertime. At that time, it was summertime because it was June. So I haven't been able to see since March. Okay, hopefully I'll be able to see next March. So what I did is I went and got a fancy beach ball with little sparklies in them. <laughs> and you blow it up to the, you know, to what you want. Now, the uh, doctor recommended a backpack, but my backpack ha is very large, and it's got all kinds of doodads on it, and it was extremely <laughs> uncomfortable. So I went with just one of these little day trip backpacks where you're not carrying everything but a book and a purse or a book and a wallet. So this has been working really well. So I put this on my regular pajamas. So today I got all dressed up to do this. I changed my pajama top, put on a bra, and put on some lipstick, and put my hair back in a ponytail. That's as close to completely dressed as I'm going to get. So, and then when I go to bed, I'll take the dang bra off, even though it's really comfortable. Um, so that's what I do. I put this on, 
and then of course it's going to ride up. So you put a largish t-shirt over that and it holds it in place and I'll tell you what we do put a little um, pillow in between my pillow and my husband's pillow because it and then put my pillow kind of at a 90 degree and that way I can smash my face into it and it reminds me and then I back up back off a little bit and lay on my side but see I have they give me a, um, a guard that I tape over that eye so I don't have to worry about it rubbing on Photo the bomb. <laughs> Thanks for going to the grocery store for me babe. Okay, so um, this is day, what did I say, the first? What day is it today? The fifth. Okay, um, this is five days, and I take two drops four times a day in that eye, one drop each, and it's it eases the eye, and then, of course, I've got some pain medicine, and the cold pack is wonderful. Mostly I use it right here because the eye, the eye patch uh, is, makes my, gives me a sore dent right there, and I've been grinding my teeth. So i got to remember to quit grinding my teeth. But that's for a macular hole, and in the left eye, now remember, this was the eye that had to do all of the work when I had my hemifacial spasm. Thank which goodness, which I still have, but thank goodness for Botox. And I don't do it to get the wrinkles on my forehead because it only, you know, you can't even see the wrinkles, but he offered to do it in there, but I did not. Nah. And um, I've always, um, there's something going on there See, nothing's going. But we don't think that the side of the mouth is Botox. Um, because I have Botox done in my neck. Uh, nice smooth neck there. And then my old lady wrinkly neck there. But it's um, very smooth. I can only raise one eyebrow. What's left of it after they took the bandage off. Uh, oh my gosh. The band... The, pack they had she gently pulled it she was very very gentle she pulled that down but she couldn't use any of the adhesive remover until it had gotten down below my eye because you do not want anything in that eye I have to be very careful um, so she peeled that back and I could feel I wonder what her that bandage looked like I don't have any eyebrow left. <laughs> and I had been trying to grow mm -hmm. it out. So, Sacrifice a few hairs yeah, for science. Yeah, a few hairs for science, yeah. yeah. Of course, I don't have much in this one either, but I was growing it out so I could, you know, brush them. Because that's the only makeup I can wear. I can brush my eyebrows, maybe put a little eyebrow. Yeah, I have a unibrow. I'll just draw it just straight across. Uh, so I wear just a little bit, sometimes, just a little bit of, uh, of color here. My lipstick for sure. I almost always wear lipstick because it also keeps my lips from peeling past few days they've just been peeling but that's the dehydration and the surgery because you know they press on that but that that is five days now the first day oh when she got down here she used adhesive uh, remover and got that all off but when I got home I used a little vitamin E on that just enough to put on my finger and use that and then rag you know just a, a damp rag to try to get it off and it the adhesive came right out of my um, eyebrow but that's at five days and when my husband checks and I'm really opening wide I don't this is not the way it is that's the way it is that's that's normal that's how I look at the world right there and I tried to do the dishes today this is the first day I've been up and trying to help my husband because he's been so good waiting on me and don't you laugh you're, you're gonna pay, pay. Let me tell you. I'm you gonna pay, pay. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to pay. We'll so like I said, pay. we're going to... So, Oh, and I put earrings in my hole. So, so I'm completely dressed, as you can see. You are. Huh? I'm completely dressed. Okay. For what? For bed? For bed. Oh, okay. This is, this is, is yeah. Completely These dressed. are my, my pajama pants. And, I'm, of course, I don't wear them at, when I sleep. But that's the outfit of the day. An old ratty t-shirt. A sports bra. A necklace, which I always wear. Let me put this back. And a little bit of lipstick. That's all I did. And I tried to brush my eyebrows out so it wouldn't look too bad. Then I messed with them. But macular holes are nothing to mess around with. If you have those symptoms, go to your eye doctor. Don't ignore them. Flo you can get floaters in eyes um, regularly. Oh, God, I'm so dehydrated. Excuse me just a minute. You can get extremely dehydrated just in that little period between, you know, the surgery and then you don't feel well. So um, you don't eat a lot, but they do recommend broth. If you if you have an upset stomach broth, um, they can give you an anti nausea if a pill if you really are having a problem with this so don't don't hesitate to call um, my biggest problem right now is my glasses are okay and I do need them and I need my Rob hit it okay right there every room in the house I feel like Sherlock Holmes. I even have a mini one I take to the grocery store to read the labels. But um, I numbers are hard on this one. I've got to talk to him about the numbers if after it heals a little bit. I'm going to take these off because they don't. I can see myself better that way. But I did the dishes and I had a heck of a time with depth perception. I, I'd wash and wash and wash and wash and then put it in the drainer but I would smack something. I couldn't see quite, you know, you try to do it. I know what I'm doing. I know how. I'm. So be very careful with your depth perception, especially when you're dealing with hot fluids. Yes. Yeah. You don't want no any more problems. You. Um, you can. No knives, for you. no knives. I can't. I'm not allowed to cut. So, I, of course, I haven't been doing meals and everything. My husband has been doing that. Um, snacks through the day and what I mean snacks I do little Cheerios you just pick one up and stick it in your mouth ready. just like I was did yes. look just okay. like I did when mom took us to church and eat we got a little up. fussy yeah eat this and shut up and they're perfect for tiny little hands and you just pick one out of the baggie and eat it and she that was what we got for but it's, but it works really well just a, a little container of Cheerios you've got it in the house it's by that it's not that many calories and you don't have to worry about it but sleep as much as you need to rest as soon as I get finished with this which is going to be oh it's already 20 minutes um, as soon as I finish with this I'm going to upload it and um, hopefully it's helped but macular holes or anything to do with your eye eyes <laughs> um, get it get it looked at because I thought because I've had such problems with this side of my face and this eye with that hemifacial spasm that it was probably just part of the spasm I had ju it just the dot was just part of it just took a you know I thought it just took a while to go away and it was not but it was four days after I ended up with it. But he said it was it was spontaneous. It just went and blew. So this one had a little tiny hole. I've got it, but I won't show it to you because it's... But it's, it was just a little tiny hole, but you could see it in the macula. Because I looked at all the videos and I looked at... I know way too much about the eye. Um, you could see just a little bit of a hole there. You could see the macula on top and it was starting to peel back. So then when I went, when I got to Grand Junction to do my pre-op, because by that time it was like, just 
go to the surgery and my doctor there, Dr. Harder, uh, I, I called and said, I got a hole and it's small right now, but I need to get a post-op. So I went up there, they took the pictures again and it was full. It was, it had blown completely. So that's what happens. Sometimes you end up with a little hole and he said it can um, heal by itself. But in my particular case, with I'm a 10%. There's only 10% of people that get it in the other eye. And so I'm a statistic. And when I asked him at my post-op appointment the second day, I said, what are the odds of me getting another hole in either eye? And he said it is very small. It's in the thousands, not in the hundreds, like it was at the 10%. <laughs> so we're going to keep our fingers crossed. I'm going to do everything, you know, just like I did with the right eye. I'm going to do everything the doctor said because he did his job. He also had to laser, which will freak me out for a few minutes, but he explained it to me. It's no big deal. Um, at the hole, he, they have to go around the hole and clean that area so you don't have the vitreous around the hole. So they peel the vitreous from around the hole and suck up all the debris and then they start putting the bubble in there, which I will I, I will eventually see. It's really it's really great when you start seeing the bubble and you see the bubble every day and it goes down and it goes down and it goes down. And when it's all done, that tells you you're mostly healed. But anyway, this when he when he saw this uh, vitreous fluid here, it looked weak around the hole that he had created, uh, he had taken off. He said it looked weak. And so he did a laser of some kind to glue, I guess that's the easiest word, that vitreous fluid around that hole, so, around the edge of the retina, so that that macular hole, if anything happens, and it, it get see it's it's weak, so I'm gonna be really careful with this eye. But he had lasered around the vitreous fluid hole that he had peeled up just to make sure that it was glued down. Then the bubble went in, and it's it's a great bubble. They don't you don't have to lay face down for three months like they used to. I mean they had a chair. Now you just have to be really careful. Wear your backpack with the and you and I just shape it. Sorry. <laughs> Making rude noises in there. <laughs> you just I'm not I don't you see I don't have it at full capacity because I I can't sleep that way, I can't turn. It's easier at night if I can just just almost get up on my hands and knees and flip over. But on occasion, I'll just roll that sucker over. And it's okay for a little while, but unless I get stuck like a turtle, I then I need some help and I have to wake up my husband. But usually I wake up, I get on my hands and knees, and I get onto the other side and try not to dis haha <laughs> disturb my husband and pull the blanket up so he's got some blanket. Oh, there's a good picture of that eye. Like I said, that's five days. First day, wow. It was all red. I looked like I could have gone to Halloween, huh, which I did. <laughs> I was in the hotel waiting for surgery on October 31st. I could have gone as a vampire with one eye. It was all red. Every inch of that eye was red. There was nothing else you could see. So the drops and the healing itself, is going away. I know you're probably grossed out. You can, you might even be able to see the little holes. I doubt it. But it was completely 
red and it's gone gotten better every day with the cold packs and the medicine that's the drops are four times a day until they're gone and um, I have to wear this this is kind of weird it's designed for bed sores but it's got a nice pad on it and because I have no depth perception I've got two of them I should wear it on the other one too because I've got no depth perception I smack this elbow on every protrusion doorknobs door ways the, going through a door um, my desk I lean up against a whammo on the desk because I can't see where it's actually going um, and I, I ended up in the you know where you recover she offered me some applesauce so I promptly got a spoon and stuck it right in my chin and uh, we laughed a little bit and she cleaned me up because I had it everywhere and then she went and got Rob <laughs> and I was you know doing the train thing trying to find where's my mouth because it was completely numb there was it was like you'd been at the dentist but that was okay completely numb was good um, and then the next day I had uh, I took two of I had to take two of my pain medicines instead of just one so the second day and the third day are actually the worst but cold packs and it's really sore around the eye do not rub the eye at all if you get goop in there which you do because it's you've got goop in your eye and there, he'll tell you what color and stuff to look for but you take a warm rag and you put it on that eye and get that goop softened up and then just gently rub it off very gently because the eye itself is really sore so anyway uh, that's macular hole surgery don't mess around with your eyes if you can do it so I've got the hemifacial spasm kind of worked out the, the Botox is working out good at, at this whatever <laughs> for, for what it is yeah. you know, for what it is but um, it's such a relief to be able to see out of both eyes <laughs> one of these days. I haven't been able to see since March. So it's been extremely frustrating for me. And um, of course, my family is bombarded with <laughs> my eyes hurt and I got a hole and I can't see your face and who are you? <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's extremely um, scary, very scary. And don't let anybody tell you that you, you you know it's fine. You'll be fine. Well, yeah, you'll be fine if you do the doctor what the doctor tells you. But the doctor did something extra in this eye, and that's the whole purpose. If I had waited, I may have had I think a, a whole detachment. No. According to what well, you know, the very, vitreous fluid likely. might have come up, and that is the retina part of your eye that's near the optic nerve. So, get your eyes taken care of. And I hope this I'm sorry it's so long. I hope this video has helped. Um, I'm going to post it to my Facebook page as well as YouTube under uh, Macular Hole information and I hope I haven't bored you stiff and but I hope you, I've given you some good information and some good information on how not to lay on your back no reclining in the recliner either you have to sit upright or forward and um, when I look forward I can see my I can see the bubble and it's kind of cool but also look at the films the YouTube films from the doctors uh, as to exactly how they do the surgery what to expect and things like that because I won't have really good sight uh, for a while I, it's going to have my optic complete, my optic yeah. nerve has to rewire all, both my to, eyes the brain has to figure out what it's looking at yeah the brain has to figure out what it's looking at and of course the glasses are designed for both eyes but this one not 
with a hole in it. So even though the hole is gone, uh, I can't really see out of it, but I can see out of this one and it does help. And I've got my magnifying glasses. I'm sorry about the scroungy fingernail polish. Second, third day okay. we were home. Okay. I just went like this and went like this and hoped I hit it and it, it didn't. It didn't do anything. So how do you close this? I guess I just hit this again. You guys take care. Take care of your health. Um, and uh, I've got a video coming out about the best movies I think are great. Hopefully the list is not too long. But we just rented from the library The Great Wall with Matt Damon. Lang, Lang Wa, is that his name? I don't know, baby. Absolutely wonderful. I probably I'm sorry, I apologize, I didn't get his name right. Yeah, that's a different video, so go from there. It's wonderful. Watch it. Okay, we will talk to you later and I'll try to get you uh, another video when it's kind of all ready to you know normal. Well, how would you know? <laughs> all right, let's see. I'm gonna try to stop this. Um Take care. Have good holidays uh, if I can't get back on to uploading. And we'll talk to you later. Take care.